Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and today in the quick review series I have something that most probably is the centerpiece of my workplace right now. What I have over here is the Toolkit RC P200 Workbench Power Supply Unit. Yes, it's the very small because if you take a look it's more or less size of your palm no matter which way you gonna orient this. Workbench Power Supply regulated with adjustable voltage and adjustable maximum current and also the USB-C charger, quick charge, three charger, so you can charge whatever USB kind of the device you have on your workbench, power supply. Um, I can talk. I can talk a lot about uh, how this thing is built, what the thing is offers and how well everything is oriented over here, but this is not important. Important things are, it can be powered from your mains from 100 to 240 volts, so it will, will work all in America, in Europe, everything else, you only need to have the correct cable. It has, of course, the on-off switch because, well, come on, on-off switch is a very useful thing. A fan for cooling and the emergency input for the x 60 battery when you want to use it without uh, using the integrated power uh, power step down uh, section and in the front in the front it has everything that the workbench power supply should have um okay it's turning on by the way the firmware on this thing can be upgraded and i already at least once upgraded the firmware to have better features you have one roller to adjust the maximum current from half an ampere to 10 ampere and the maximum and the voltage that this thing will output from the 5 volts or even less max to 30. You no, know, actually, I wonder what's really the lowest. Oh, from 1 volt to 30 volts. So, everything you want, you can cover without any problems. And of course, there are two ports that you can connect the cables so you can apply the voltage to anything you want. Bear in mind the original cables and the original crocodiles were rather crappy so I upgraded the, the cables with something better with the nice silicon co coating but this is not really a requirement I just wanted something better with the possibility to stack uh, them together. And with a with a press of the of the button you apply the voltage to the device whatever you want don't believe me let me get some something that we can drain power from okay i think this 12 volt uh, led lamp will do so let me connect the terminals let me place this thing somewhere in that direction so we can see how it's working but it's not taking all the space. Um, first, let's set the low current and 12 volts because this thing will be working with the 12 volts, uh, the lamp, and with the press of the button, haha, it's 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 there uh, we have the set current and the current current uh, because we capped this to half an amp uh, as you can see it had to cut the voltage to still have the and uh, the current we set and when i will be increasing the current maximum current it will be just uh, increasing everything we have a graph that shows us the current output voltage and the current amperage measured and we can turn on and off the output from the PSU with the press uh, of the right roller. On the left roller brings us the menu for the USB charger. I will not be showing you the USB charger option, but if you plug in the USB cable over here, you can charge your smartphone, radio, whatever you have with the USB-C, USB actually charging, and it will give, give you the current voltage, current time, and also the protocol, normal, quick charge, quick charge, two and the quick charge three because this thing uh, supports up to the quick charge three without absolutely any problems and that's all because that's basically all that you want from the workbench power supply finally let me say some words why i think this is the best actually the best tool i have in my workbench right now because as you might expect i'm working quite a lot of with the electronics drones and the things that are pulling current from stuff i have the big chinese power supply that is like 20 centimeters by centimeters the huge thing super cheap but but still huge and i thought that that one was great but no this one is just better because this one 
one offers as much as the big power supply, you probably right now see the image, the picture of my uh, big power supply, or maybe only a link to the video I recorded about this um, two years ago. And it does this just better, because it's small, it fits everywhere, I have a nice spot to be, uh, below one of my LCDs, so it's not taking much of the space on the relatively small desk I over here, and it just does the work great. Um, don't have to have the charge lipos to test if the motors are running, I can monitor voltage, I can set the max current, and it, it's really, honestly, what can I say, if this thing only was cheaper? Because unfortunately it's not very cheap, but I do think that the small form factor and quite nice feature of the thing kind of really make it a good deal. Yeah, I think so. Like I said, not cheap, but it's well priced for the possibilities this thing actually gives you. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye bye.